is, is that going to be a big problem? Well, we're all only the speaker here and not the main um, investigator in this, in this project. And I was hoping they would be all awake and um, on the Skype waiting for the transmission of the Obviously Peace Talks, which is uh, four hours before uh, behind us. Um, so, this is the correct title of the presentation, and I have three more main authors of the, of the work, and uh, their names and faces will appear soon. Uh, I'm saying that because I have different titles, different authors, and different uh, information about the presentation. So this is a, a, it's a, um, a project, it's not a research project, but it is at the same time, it's not a pedagogic project, but it is at the same time. So it's a, it's a bit of a mix of different approaches to understanding um, quality as relates to open space in Brazil and elsewhere in, in Austria. Um, it started in July this year, so it's very recent. It's not near ending or we haven't got anything published. What we have actually is a collection of photographs and, and writings and all a mess. So we need to make sense of everything. But in, in, in any case, it's interesting to present. So I will take you through the background, a little bit where this came from, uh, funding, the focus, a little bit of the methodology, the theories, the forming, which I'm becoming familiar with as well, and uh, the initial discussion. Uh, I have a very strong interest in, in kind of pointing out the value of undergraduate research and, and this and postgraduate research, and this project and the previous project uh, which I'm involved with, they're both in that line. So, so involving the students we have here in, in the research and understanding a little bit more about the environment they end up then learning and designing. Uh, so I will try to, to cover these topics as well. So the, the whole thing about uh, collaborating with Brazil and trying to establish this kind of cross-cultural uh, um, understanding of uh, the, the principles or the qualities that we talk about it, uh, started um, with a project called Roots Buds. We went, uh, five of us, five of the students went to Brazil. They all, they all had their own research. And as part of that, um, of that uh, project, which took place in 2013 in April, we realized this is our old product from the workshops we went to Brazil to go and, uh, and uh, uh, kind of part of the conclusion, we realized that open space is a key major thing that comes to mind when, when discussing the environment. So if you ask about the built form, they're slightly vague and then they will say, oh, yeah, but, but the open space, but, but the green space, but the clay space. So, so that was a key topic. And as um, and building from that research, we then decided to, to focus this next project, which we call um, cross-cultural urban design, on uh, the open space, the policies uh, that will, the urban policies that will apply to open space. Uh, the project is funded by the Brazilian government because there is a strong um, trend now to fund uh, all research uh, in, in, um, in a way that uh, comes back to Brazil to internationalize the, the postgraduate and research force. So they say we are too inward, we, because I'm from Brazil as well, we are looking too much into Brazilian scene, Brazilian context, and we don't exchange much. Uh, so there's this uh, lot of money actually to internationalize uh, internationalize the research, educational research, and uh, do uh, partnerships and etc. So we've been funded to do <coughs> a, a, a project that would help students from that university in Brazil, Univer Federal University of Pelotas, to um, get out of their territory and to um, explore uh, urban design in that case in a, a different territory. So this is the the whole team. These people were here with me. I went to Brazil at the end of July. They came to Oxford. There is an exhibition of the work in the Urban Design Floor if you want to have a look. Uh, 
and there are the other authors of the paper. So the geographical focus uh, became central public open space, but specifically a pedestrianized main shopping strip in both city centers. So we work here with Corn Market and in Pelotas with Calpadão. And if you take, if you just look at both space, they're very, very similar in function, in design, in size and everything. So, so in a way, uh, they were uh, uh, positive that you could kind of compare them. The thematic was uh, perceived urban qualities in different cultural contexts. So basically, in a very simple way, we wanted to see what people perceive as making a good place there and here in two areas that would be um, uh, similar. If they were similar, if they perceived different things, if, if the cultural context had something to do with that. Um, you, I think you are all familiar with the, all the urban design policies we just had a presentation. They all come always the same thing. We work on and on and on with that. What we wanted to do, my role in this project was to go and talk about urban design policies. And I suggested that instead of saying anything, we would go to the field and then we would come back. Then we would map what people thought would be a good place. And then we would go back to the literature rather than other way around, the other way around. Otherwise, we just replicate that learned quality that we go there and we try to identify, rather than we try to identify what makes a good place and then we transform that in, into a, a quality. So, um, so my role in the end, I went to talk about the design policies and I said, well, no, I think we shouldn't as much. This is all translated from Portuguese, so you might read a little bit different because this slide was prepared by them as well. So they have two main questions. What are the perceived qualities of a good place and what are the similarities and difference between those two different places. This is the uh, Calta do Pelotas, main shopping area, shop, 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 very much like Corn Market, if you know. Um, but we have got there, you haven't got here much, you've got lots of things in the middle of the street. But the use and the function within the city is very similar. Um, so the aim came to be to explore these similarities and differences. It's a first, it's not a research project as such, so it's more of an exploration and trying to understand, trying to map things out, which will then hopefully progress into a, a, a different type of research. So these are the two uh, areas, so Pelotas in Brazil, this is the Calçadão, and this is Ford Market. The grain here is much tighter, we have much bigger buildings. Uh, this is, uh, these are photographs of the, the two areas. So lots of people in both, shops on the ground floor, um, I don't know, storage above, same, same thing here. Uh, much more, the buildings are not covered here. We, I have a friend from Brazil who did uh, work on uh, the impact of um, publicity on the facade. So the buildings are totally covered here by commercial signals. Now, the methodology is something I'm becoming familiar with. It's not what we use here at all. It's not the traditional type of research. Here, they have a, a, a specific research line using this type of experiential construction of knowledge, collective type thing. So I'm getting familiar with that. Um, so three, uh, three things uh, guide the research. The first one is the idea of collective experiments. So the data as such, and the concept of data is a question as well, but the data uh, is collective generated. <coughs> we always, always around with photographs and uh, covers and we took pictures and that becomes, you know, the kind of the truth, what we perceive. And it's also the second one, and, and this is uh, an indicator, this is all written in uh, the bibliography is in Portuguese, but there are uh, English uh, versions as well. This is a French uh, guide. The other one is urban cartographies, which combines experiential mapping with uh, traditional mapping and reading from maps as well. And the third one is the concept 
uh, of um, the concepts of territorialization, de-territorialization, and re-territorialization. So basically, the idea is simplifying that they will, that's when I went to Brazil, that was the first stage of the research. We will understand in our territory what equality is like. So we are familiar with equality, we can walk around, we, are, we understand the practices and everything, we are familiar with everything. Then we come back to Oxford. Now imagine I'm, I'm Brazilian as well, yeah? So we come to Oxford and we leave our territory. We're not there anymore and we are exposed to a different culture. We see things in a different way, but we also interact with people from here because the workshop here uh, were um, a mix of people from the Middle East. And then later on, we go back with that eye from outside and review things. So it's a way of, I think it's a way of uh, taking you out of your comfort zone and, your, or you, and from your under, cultural understanding and then trying to see things in a different way. That's what we did. This is uh, the first part of it. We used photographs for that. We had two different techniques. The first one was just getting the camera and mapping out what makes this place. So we used the photographs and then the massive maps and the monitors, which are big words of five means, I'm not sure as well, um, which are those things. So all the photographs were printed and put in here, and you can go upstairs in the second floor and have a look, and there will be things like people selling um, like books and stuff outside this in Brazil. So there's one side is Oxford, the other side is in Brazil. And it's, a, it's an engaging exercise as well. It's not just, yeah, I read or I collect and then I type, print and publish. It's engaging. This exhibition will be here until April, and our students will be working that as well, making different, make analyzing and, and discussing. The more we discuss collectively, the more refined the conclusions get according to the uh, collective experiment theory. And we have the, another uh, type of photography we use, where it's called uh, expanded photography, where you you capture, but you can also uh, design using the, photo the, the photographic technique. And then you can discuss whether there would be an improvement or not. So, for example, this is a this side would be a blunt side, and then the person you took, took a picture here, took a picture there, and exposed. So there were lots of different techniques they used just to explain that you could have a more active edge or something like that. So all that was applied. These were the workshops. These were the workshops in uh, in Palo Alto, in Brazil. And every single photograph was discussed and uh, uh, notes were taken from all the, the discussions. So uh, people mapping out what makes good place, and then, for example, there's place to stay, which we haven't got much in Oxford. We have paints, but they are kind of designed for people to keep going. So it reminded me a little bit of the idea of um, Peter Jones' Linden Place. So in Pelotas, that street is a place, it's a place to stay and eventually go into a shop. But in Knox, or Corn Market is a link and they want you to not stay, they want you to go into the shops or move around. That's, that's what came from, from the discussion, which I thought was very interesting as well. So, uh, so then they came to Oxford, of course, and we had the um, different students and people from, from the university doing the, the initial uh, mapping out. Uh, here, uh, someone also did this um, um, superposition of photographs <coughs> saying, oh, we had, we had to have comfortable base both sides, and we wanted to be able to stay and, and look at uh, people passing by. We want to, but these were people mapping things out and the kind of conceptually designing ideas that had or been to the Brazilian uh, uh, street. Um, so they kind of addressed policies that were positive there, and there they addressed policies that we found them positive here. Anyway, so because it's just a baby project, just a 
month old. Um, I'll <laughs> finish It's just a month old. But we haven't got conclusions as such, or we are still working on the next steps. Uh, my students uh, have a first year undergraduate module, they will be working with the same thematic. Uh, but there are certain things that were very strong from the workshop that I thought would be worth just bringing so we can kind of compare as well. The first one was that people note uh, several times as positive uh, places that were within that bigger space. So if you had, for example, um, those seats where the guy was reading the newspaper, so they, they kind of conform a, a, a special place within Calçadão or within Port Marte. The place where there was a street uh, artist, like a, something from Alice in the World uh, uh, Bunny, yeah? That, that became a place, there were people sitting there, so, so <coughs> the participants decided to map out, ah, that area is very nice, that area is very nice, and we found that the idea of place within place is something that we should <coughs> explore a little bit more, so you break that whole area into smaller views, almost, almost like a, a multifunctional street. Uh, the other one is, I've seen in other slides as well, the idea of flexibility, moldability, that this space is not so strict that that's the only activity you can have there. In Brazil, the place is so packed with strict furniture, which in a way is good, but it doesn't have so, it doesn't allow so much flexibility as we have here, because here we have almost like a native stage that can be um, moldable. So that's something else we want to explore a little bit more. Uh, places to stay, yeah, definitely, that's, that's good. It's positive, <coughs> it's safe, and they want to sit and interact. So we saw lots of people chatting, especially in Brazil, not so much here. Um, <coughs> strong heritage identity, yeah, that, that came very strongly, uh, both here and in Brazil. Even though in Brazil we have a lot, much, but the elements that stand out, they were always mapped and, and, and used for the design as well, saying, yeah, that's something we should explore more, we should have that, that's, that's you know, part of us and it's interesting as well. And the presence of the vegetation, always, even though vegetation in Pelotas kind of um, sometimes was mapped as standing in the way of the strong heritage presence, it recalls a lot, it's very, very um, present in the industry. But yes, this was always marked as positive and brought with the, the uh, features of it. And the idea of public art and entertainment, people really engage with that, it's positive and they feel safe and uh, interested and they want to stay and watch. Um, the photograph technique, photographic techniques, I think the main conclusion from that, it's positive but negative, it's more not negative but limiting. And I think what uh, made us think about is that perhaps when we come to design this project as a, as a proper research, uh, we should move into uh, the idea of um, sensory cartography uh, and use different methods rather than the photograph. We had people arguing, saying no, we can map a multi-sensory experience with photographs, but I still find, um, I found we were limited. People had to explain verbally or with text anything that was related to something other than visual. Even the visual they had to explain, so I find uh, photography a little bit limiting. This is all designed by the uh, MA students, so, so it was interesting to be part of that because we are starting to question that. Um, conceptual. Um, it's, photography is great to explore, to map, to, to and explore the conceptual stage, conceptual yeah, stages of uh, design. It was good, it was very quick. We used apps on the iPhone, no key cameras or anything, so that was good. Um, and but it does require using apps or, or um, uh, this Photoshop. The project will end in March 2015, we've just started, so that will come, and we have 
have um, we have a, a website. We have a Facebook page, which is much more active than the website. You're all welcome to to join to, to know what's going on. There will be more things, and uh, we have an email. And the exhibition is now in um, in our floor here, the museum floor. I will be adjusting it uh, this week, but ready for.